Hi guys, so today essentially I want to show you how to build or how I build my own open track or active IR tracker for gaming. And here is an example of how IR tracking works within a game. Note how my head is panning left right and steering the camera within the game. To start you will need a video camera. The best one to use is PSI, um, basically thanks to its 75 frames per second speed. Next you will need some ER LEDs. My suggestion is to use a 120 degree LEDs. Next in line will be a power source. I decided on using Li-Ion batteries that I pulled out from broken laptop battery. Once you have all the parts, the next step is to design your shape for holding the LEDs. Um, you can just paint it over paper or use a 3D software that I, the same way as I did. Now I'm lucky enough to own a laser cutter that allows me to cut away this element. Um, if you don't have that type of equipment, just use your, I don't know, start by table saw or any other device, anything else that can cut either wood or plastic or whatever material you will choose. You should end up with a shape similar to what you see. Once you get that shape, it's time for assembly. Okay guys, so it's a bit later and let's assume you have your tracker done, works, glows, it's just fine. The next step is your PSI camera, so we need to dis disassemble this and basically take out the lens and replace it with another lens and also re remove the IR filter that's inside. Ok guys, so this is what you want. You essentially want to pull out the board and you see those two screws in here? They are holding the lens, right? In your camera the lens is going to be a bit different because mine is already hacked. But you'll be able to unscrew the lens from here and then inside this lens you will find an IR LED, IR light filter. Right? So just dis disassemble that. Now, there are two types of Sony cameras. One of them has a square filter, I think it was square, and you can quite easily pull it off. And one of those types has a round filter. Um, and that one is a bit of a problem. So, the one that I have had a round filter, and well, unfortunately, I was forced to basically swap out the whole lens from another old broken web camera. Now, depending on the type you have, you can unscrew those unscrew those sc those screws and then just get into that filter. Just remove it all together, right? And you need to assemble it back. And that's gonna be that, at least for the camera. Okay, so we have the hardware done. Now we need some software. There are two programs that you will need. One is OpenTrack for tracking and interfacing with the game itself and another one is the driver for the camera. So I'm going to start with the driver. It's called CLI Test. Now if you look in the, in the video description, you can find a direct link to this software. What this does is essentially it allows you to configure your, cap, your camera frame rate and you will be having that at 75 and your camera filters. So basically your exposition, your uh, brightness and stuff like that. Just notice. Yeah. And this is what the camera currently see. Now if I just turn this down, because I do not want the camera to see any image, aside of the higher LEDs. And if I just enable my tracker, note that I can, you can see the LEDs within the video of the camera. 
right? All right, so this is fairly okay. I mean, I don't have too much of a noise and I can see the trackers quite clearly, even with a high angle. Now let's just move to open track. And start. Yes, and as you can see, it tracks three points with no issues. Now, one small trick. If you click into settings on input, you can find the minimal and maximal size of the dot dots that are being tracked. I mean, if you have some noise in the background, you can use these uh, values to correct for that. You also can check if you're using the correct camera, the resolution and the speed and so on. Now, I did try lower resolutions with higher speeds, but I mean, anything about 75 Hertz is going to be overkill. This is just an okay value. And that's it. That's that, you're ready to play. So I hope this was some, somewhat helpful and see you later guys.